Learn how to use the multi-line button by unlimited elements. Let's get started. Hi and thanks for joining. It's a meet from Unlimited Elements. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the multi-line button widget by Unlimited Elements. Search in the widgets pane for the word multi-line button and drag that inside of your Elementor column. Over here, what this button does, it's just a button, a regular button, but it allows you to add more than one text to your button and style those texts in a different way so for example today uh, what we're going to do is try to imitate the android um, play store button or the app store button by apple so i'll try to do both of them so the first thing i'm going to do is just change the text so the text in the app store is um, i think it's like uh, something like get it on and then app store. So it's something like that. The next thing is that the, these buttons have an icon. So I'm just gonna click show icon. And over here, I'm going to select the icon. So we're going for the app store right now. So it's going to be an apple. And that looks great. All the rest of the settings are in the style tab. Of course, you can add a link if you need to. And let's jump into the style. So first of all, we can align the button. This is just for general alignment if you want to align it inside of the column. I'm gonna keep it in center and align inside the button. So right now you can see these texts are aligned to the center one of each other, but in the App Store button, it's actually aligned to the left. So it just looks better when it's aligned to the icon itself. We can play around with the padding. So if you want, you can unlink over here. If you want to make the padding smaller on top and on the bottom, for example. So I'm just playing around with these numbers and that looks pretty good. Maybe let's make this also smaller on the sides. Looking okay, background color and background hover. So if you want a different color for the hover color, so you can change that and now when you hover over the icon, that's changed. Space between is related to the space between the title and the subtitle. So if we push that, that will just make some space between those two. Button width, we can make the button full width so it adapts to the column in any way. I'm just gonna keep it auto width. Auto width means that the width, it depends on the content inside of the button. Let's jump into typography. And over here in typography, we have three settings for the title and three settings for the subtitle. The title settings are typography. So in the App Store button, the actually the first line is smaller. So I'm just gonna click on the pencil over here and play around with this. So until I get something that I'm satisfied with. And let's jump into the subtitle and make that bigger. So that's how it looks in the App Store button. Of course, you can play around with the colors. Uh, I don't need to because this is how the App Store button looks, but you have an option to change uh, the typography and the colors for the different elements separately. Let's jump into Icon. And over here in Icon, we can push up the icon size. So I'm just gonna push that up a little bit so it looks better aligned and looks better and we can change the spacing. So if you want to space the icon more from the text, so this is a space over here, I can just play around with the slider and that will push that over. I think we achieved something that looks very good. Now, inside of Elementor, if you want to put two buttons next to each other, you can create two columns, or you can also go into Advanced and inside of Positioning, you can choose Inline Auto. Now, if I duplicate this one, you can see I have two buttons, one next to the, each other. If I want to space it, I just go into the widget settings and I'm going to add some margin on the right. And now we can change this one to the Play Store button. So I'm just going to click Play Store. 
and that looks awesome let's change the icon to the play store button to the google play store and i think we're all set up so you see how we made two awesome buttons multi-line buttons using unlimited elements and i hope you found this tutorial helpful and i'll see you in the next video